Yo, what's happening guys, it's Glossius X. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to add a simple level up system to your game. So you'll be able to go from level 1 to level 2 to level 3 to level 4 to level 5. Uh, and you're going to get experience points. And obviously this is how we're going to progress up the levels. So it's very simple. Um, what you want to do first of all is I've just created a few sprites to show you guys how to do it. So this is the experience points. Uh, this is the floor and this is the player that we're going to be using as you can see I'm just using basic assets to show you guys how to do it and you can easily translate these into your own game so first of all you just want to create an object and call this object floor uh, and then apply the floor sprite and then that's pretty much it for the floor then we create a room uh, and you go to the room here and go to room underscore main room now for some reason I always do my rooms as 1150 by 650 I don't know why, like literally if you play any of my games they've all got this size I'm not sure why I do it so um, speed of 60 uh, and that's it save that let's go back to that actually create a new object and call this object object underscore player assign the sprite and then make a new create event and then in the code just put global dot player level equals one global dot player experience equals zero actually you know what I'm gonna make that easier because that's just gonna be a bit of a nightmare global dot XP equals zero global dot player XP target equals 100 so this is what your player will start as so he's gonna start at level one He'll have 0 XP and his target XP is 100. Um, and then what's going to happen is every time we hit the target XP with the XP, it's going to double the XP target to make it harder and harder. So that's pretty much it for the player for now. I'm just going to quickly put the floor into the map and then put the player in and then save it. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure that the player can move. So I'm just going to add in some simple move commands. So move left equals uh, keyboard check and then just put ORD A and then copy that and change it to move right and we want that to be D so if move left we do image underscore x scale this is basically the direction that the image is facing so we do minus one to invert it so that when the player is moving left basically the, the sprite will switch sides so it'll look like it's moving left move right equals zero I always put that in just for precaution and then x uh, x minus equals two which will move them two spaces on the x-axis copy that and paste it and just basically invert what we've just put take off the minus move left equals zero and then x will be plus equals 2 instead of minus and that is pretty much it now if we go in our players should be able to move left and right with the A and D buttons there we go so as you can see so there we go we've got a simple player I'm not going to put a jump in or anything like that and then what we need to do now is we want to display on the screen the players XP his level and his XP target so what you're best to do here is go into the object actually create a new object call it object underscore stats show and then basically put a draw event and then just type in uh, draw underscore text underscore color and then put X Y and then string and put global dot 
player level and then C underscore black four times be careful how you spell these and then put one and then that will just make it visible at the end copy that Y plus 15 and then here change this to player um, experience yeah, XP <laughs> as we change it now what the best thing actually what we'll do is we'll put string and then just so that it's obvious what we're, what we're looking at we can put player uh, put level space and then add just a little plus like that to separate them and then when it goes in game it'll have level space we'll put like a little dot dot and then the player level just so that it's a lot more user friendly and then here put experience and then copy that one um, yep yeah. and then we're going to just go down to and here put uh, XP target and then here we just put player XP target yep and then here with the Y we put plus 30 now if I add that object into the map say about here it should have zero on them all except for a hundred on the target yep there we go, oh yeah level one okay so there's basically what we've just added so you can see on the screen now what the players stats are and then what we need to do is we need to go into yep we'll go into the object what do we need to do yep sorry we need to create a new object assign the experience and we're going to call this object underscore xp and then add event and then in the step event I'm just going to put if um, place me thing x y plus 2 and then put in object underscore floor yeah and then basically this just means that if there's no place meeting with the floor in two spaces from the y axis then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it go y plus equals 2 so it'll keep falling until it's actually on the floor so if I basically drag this object XP in and then we play it you'll see what I'm talking about there we go so it's dropping it's dropping it's dropping and then it's on the floor now if you notice at the moment we can't pick up the XP it doesn't do anything it's just an object so let's make it give the player XP so in this step event here put if now this time we're putting a normal place meeting and then X Y object player we put global dot player XP plus equals 20 you can adjust that to whatever you want and then just put instance instance destroy and now if we go back into the game the XP should give us 20 XP up here boom there we go 20 XP now when we get get enough XP we want them to level up and we haven't assigned that yet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this obviously we need a lot more XP to, to test this out so I'm going to put an object underscore XP spawn spawn it no sprite put a create event and then in the create event just put uh, alarm zero equals 40 and then we want to create alarm zero and put um, instance underscore create x y object underscore uh, xp and then we go alarm zero equals 40 and this way it'll just constantly spawn xp 
this is basically like Destiny Luke Cave. Now what will happen is XP will just drop, 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 drop. There we go. So as I say before, when you, sorry, as I said before, see XP is going up, but no, the target's not changing, and we're not leveling up, so we need to do that. So if you go into the player, in the step event, and then just put here if global dot player XP is greater than or equal to global dot player XP target global dot global dot player level plus equals one and then global dot player XP target equals global dot player XP target plus um, actually multiplied by two so every time we hit a new level the XP target will double so it becomes more difficult you know a gradual climb is what you want really so just save that and play it so now this should work hopefully so now if I just collect the XP bing 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 level two XP targets doubled and again experience going up XP target level three there we go so as you can see it's working but let's go a little step further one thing you want to do with your XP you want to make it time out because otherwise it'll just stay there hogging up memory so in in the creative and put alarm uh, one equals 150 so after 150 seconds we want the XP in alarm one to destroy so that way you're not hogging up memory constantly it'll delete itself after a certain time we also want to give our player now this is optional really uh, you can go to draw the first thing you want to do with the draw event is just stick in a draw self just so that your player draws itself and it's not invisible and then we want to copy the code that we had before for the writing um, that was in this event no it wasn't it was in this event so we copy this because you know if it worked right it'd save time there we go so copy and paste that and then what we're going to do is we're going to say if global dot player level is greater than or e is sorry equals one then we're gonna have let's just delete this bit and the string will be and it'll be y minus ten and we'll just have noob and let's just quickly test that just to make sure that's working yep yeah, so it is working but we need to make this about 40 and then once you've got it in the perfect position let's try 60 there we go so we've got a noob the XP is not actually hitting the floor so I need to change the time on that but yeah basically copy and paste this five times for as many levels as your game has four five and then you go noob you go to warrior um, tougher warrior and then we'll go for you know Chuck Norris and then Chuck Norris's dad so then you know you're getting tougher and tougher and tougher as you level up now if you want to limit how far your player can go in terms of level you just basically put here and put and and global dot player level is less than six uh, it's less than five. Um, no, sorry. 
Yeah, I think that's right. So basically what you're doing is you're making it so that when you hit a certain level point, it'll stop doing this. It'll stop calculating your XP. Um, so let's quickly just check if that name switch is working. Um, yeah. Oh god, yeah, the XP. So create event, change it to 300. And then just let me check that the level's been changed. Yep. Right, and that should work. Alright, so we'll just wait until. Yep, warrior. Tougher warrior. Chuck Norris. And then you get the idea, Chuck Norris's dad. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the basics. What I want to do next is I'm going to do another video soon where every time you level up, you get a chest and you can open it for random loot. But that is definitely a, um, for a new video because it's quite long. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later. Bye.